So far, this item is definitely causing me the most pain in this mod pack. Why, of all things, does it have to be slime balls? But yes, I went ahead and did a little bit of off-camera work and got some more slime balls. Hopefully this is the last time though, because as you can see, we have five knowledge stars in our inventory. Just missing one because I don't quite have enough knowledge, but hopefully this crystal will give us just that, because then we will be able to unlock Create. Hopefully we will be able to reach level 40, and that is going to go ahead and give us four Echo Gems, which can then be used to make an Echo Park, because I did some math, and I apparently can go ahead and make, I believe it is 14, 14 or no, 10. I can go ahead and actually make 10 Pogs, and I already have four of them right here, so I can easily make an Echo Park as long as I can get the perfect Echo Gem. Which I can, if I reach level 40. And the point is, as soon as we can make an Echo Park, we go ahead and make a Survival Spawner. And that way, we will not have to rely on manually hunting for mobs to get mob drops. Which is really exciting. But speaking of exciting, we are now in the next update. Which is why, when we go into the quest overview, we have Sealing Your Crystals and Warden Pearl are now unlocked. And Archives? Uh, apparently I didn't get this. No, uh, that's right, I didn't get that yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we have Warden's Pearl and Sealing Your Crystals. And for this, I need to apply Seal of the Scout to a Vault Crystal. This also means uh, Bundles are now gone. So they are, have been replaced. Um, so let's go ahead and see Seal of seal of the Scout. There we go. Light the Bracer. So this is the new seal that has been replacing, uh, that I'm going to be replacing the Bundles uh, with Braciers. So we're going to go ahead and need an Eternal Soul. And also a blank seal. And with that, I can now go ahead and make a campfire and make seal of the scout. Very exciting. And I can then apply it to this specific crystal if I do it in the right order. Boom. I have done that. And that gives me, not that unfortunately, <laughs> but two brand new blank seals. Very cool. So the plan is to actually go ahead and put these knowledge stars away for now run this vault and hopefully we will be able to either get the knowledge star that we need to unlock create then or we need to run one more vault and plus that maybe be able to reach 40 level 40 after that i'm not sure we will have to see because there's another vault that i really want to run today as well which is this because cake vaults has been changed and i really 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 am excited to run these i think i have everything that i need for a run except for my pouches, of course. Now, actually, I can leave this pouch behind because I know I'm not going to be needing that because this is a Blacier Vault. I am actually going to take that bit of lemon, I think. A bit expensive, but I think that was worth it. Also, we got this last time, um, but I'm not going to spend it on any of that, I don't think. It is kind of dumb. I am leaving these here where I can't really actually go ahead and use them. I really should add them to my shulker box. But since I have this amount of Kiwis, I haven't really been needing them that much. Okay, this is our very first Brazier Vault. Also, I need to remember that I have also gotten, um, yeah, that one, Poison Nova. So I need to try and remember to use that. Also, this is my very first Brazier Vault. I have done Monolith Vaults in the past, but I haven't run any one of these. And basically, I think there's going to be a Brazier in every single room, and there's going to be a positive modifier. And there's going to be a bad modifier. Um, talking mobs, are we going to get strength? Uh, okay. Okay, so it, it basically has the main title and then it has what that means, essentially. So the mobs are going to have a little bit more health. I'll take that. I feel like that's a win-win, honestly. A cool thing about this new change, also we have the hammer, which we need to try as well. Um, but yeah, another cool thing about this change... Oh, the sword, though. Hold on, the sword. It's so good. <laughs> It can one-hit these guys. Wow, we got this in the last episode. Ew, go away. We got this in the last episode. It's so good. Look at that attack damage. Wow. And we also made this. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. I thought it would only... Huh. I thought the hammer would only destroy the kind of blocks that were in its vicinity. Oh, I guess, I guess it is actually breaking them before. Okay, that's not a problem then. I guess it's going to break some things, but most things are going to be too tough for it anyway. 
That's interesting. Also, there's definitely something back here. Hello. How's everyone doing? Please go away. <laughs> now, as I was trying to explain, I think, before, with the Bracius, you can now get more than the five or whatever amount you get per vault and go ahead and loot even more. I think you can get loot from them, but the downside is you do get uh, negatives. Oh, and one of these. You do get negatives uh, for each new one that you take after the initial five. So this is the trader where you can actually go ahead and buy stuff more downstairs. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, I don't feel like that's worth it. But the vault fragment, quarter for gold though. I don't. I I feel like that's a bad thing to like not take because I do feel like with the vault. A uh, fragment, you can actually go ahead and craft another one. You know what? I'm not really using the gold anyway. I don't have... Oh, I need to have it... Oh, I need to have it on me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oops. All right, here's our other one. So, swift and extra mob health. You know what? We can do it. That just means we're going to be faster. That means we can go ahead and run. And we get an even extra speed buff right there. Please go away. Thank you, all of you. Uh, also, it's been a while, so I'm going to be probably rusty. That's my excuse, and I will stick with it. It actually breaks it pretty well. Ooh, what was that? that f why was the, why did that kind of feel like speed? I feel like that felt like speed. Also, I have speed, however much I have. Um, speed four. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Th this is fast. I feel like I can't even manage the speed. Ow. Ow. I didn't even see that ghost. This sword is just so good. Like, it destroys. Like, it's just so good. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have to use Vein Miner as much now doing this. So from that point of view, the hammer is actually pretty decent. Very decent, actually. Oh, we got a dungeon here. Nice. Oh, wait. Maybe we can get the architect. Please don't be impossible. Please don't be impossible. Like, there. That normally wouldn't be... Vein miner, but that was so that actually. Thank you for that suggestion using the hammer. Okay, normal. We could actually do this, and it's gilded as well. Okay, very good. I am not scared about this whatsoever. This is going to be a breeze. If uh, hold on, uh, now ha poison. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, that's good. That's very good actually. Nice. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we actually get an architect in this one. It's not guaranteed. I'm pretty sure it's not guaranteed anyway. Uh, go ahead and... Yeah. There we go. Maybe I should use a different key for it so I can easier hit it. Or maybe my fingers just need to get used to the fact that it's there. <laughs> but yeah, getting these, this is good. Getting a bunch of gilded chests. I feel like the speed is almost too much. But I guess it could be because of my FOV as well. I could lower that and have a little bit of an easier time, I suppose. Uh, what have we got in here? Pretty good stuff. Nope. Hi, fellas. Uh, please don't... Okay. This is... Hmm. Inter interesting. Interesting. Very interesting, indeed. Very interesting. I am using more mana, though. It is using quite a bit of mana, I feel. Which is fine, because it is... I think it can be quite powerful when you up upgrade it slowly. Ooh, a bunch of stuff. Okay, hold on. There was another door over here. And a sneaky chest. I'm gonna go ahead and get this real quick. And let's get this. And no javelin throw. There we go. Nice. Okay, this dungeon is good. Please have an architect, though. <laughs> Please have an architect. That would be most ideal. Uh, I think this is the same room as I was just about to enter before. No, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So that is going to spawn a champion. Ah, so no, uh, no architect. No architect. Ow, ow. No architect. You mean though? You very mean. But no architect, unfortunately. Ah, man. When we finally get a <laughs> get a dungeon, um, I don't think there's anything that I missed unless there's a door up here somewhere. That I didn't go through, but I don't think that there is. Whoa, hold on, hold on. There could be more here. There could be more here. There could be more. Potentially. I'll tank a few hits here. You're a problem. Please go away. 
Architect? No Architect. Still though, we got a lot of loot from that, so I am not going to complain one bit. Oh yeah, actually I was told to not use Vein Miner on this, because apparently it's going to use a lot more durability. So I'm really happy that I got the speed up. If I can get another, maybe some more mining speeds on it, I think it'll be really, really, really OP. All right, 16 minutes left. Let's get these braciers done, and then we can go ahead and properly look for a dungeon, because I need one badly. Uh, extra mob speed and copiously. I'm going to take it just so that I can guarantee uh, that I actually go ahead and get this, uh, this thing completed. I guess I don't have to, though, because I think there's one that's going to be one in every single room. So, hmm, I guess I should be more selective of which ones I pick and which ones I don't. Oh, wow, four very big and disgusting zombie. Five! Wow. Five of these big guys at once. Ew. <laughs> Look at this. Three of them at once. Boom. Just like that. It's beautiful. And the sword as well. I don't even... This axe is basically... Not as good. Actually, the sword is better than the axe for once. <laughs> wow. Uh, slowed speed. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. Because I actually don't really like being this speedy. Not gonna lie. Also, we're just missing one glacier. And then I will go ahead and primarily look for a dungeon door. So that hopefully we can get to architect. And quantity, slowness. You know what? I'm fine with that as well. Uh, this is an ore room, which I'm not really interested in. Kind of just looking to see if there should be a dungeon door or something around here somewhere. Um, I mean, I, I should look for these because I, that could be an echo in these, but... Yeah, I might look. I might look. I might look. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Pillage or exit to complete? Uh, I... Did I take... I thought I was missing one. Did I take the fifth one before? And didn't realize? I might have. Okay. Um, well then. <laughs> right. I didn't even expect that. We completed it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well, in that case, I am just going to go ahead and look for a dungeon door. Oh, it's actually very fitting that we found this room here because we got the extra copiously. So that's actually kind of nice. I just realized. So at this rate, I can go ahead and take this one. They do extra damage, but I can potentially get more loot from them, which I'm going to go ahead and do if I see one. And it's not too bad. This is only plus 50% extra attack damage from the mobs. Which, I mean, if I, as long as I can eliminate them quick enough and I don't get into a struggle, then yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Except when you have two big zombies falling right next to each other. That is so not fair. That is so unfair. So unbelievably fair. And no, please go away. I hate the ghosts. Oh. I misclicked and that could have gone very bad. <laughs> Yikes. Well, I found a door. It's not a dungeon door, so it's uh, not something that I could actually use, but... Oh. Oh yeah, I obviously have had some, some gold on me. Okay, yeah. So I need to remember to actually take some of my stuff with me if I want to actually use these. I need to re redo my, um, what's it called? My, I shouldn't be taking these, but I'm going to do it anyway. I need to redo my shulker box for things that I bring with me inside the vault. Oh, an Astium gem. I don't think there was a negative connected to that. That's nice. That is not a dungeon door. <laughs> uh, man. Uh, ooh, hardened chest roll. That's kind of cool. I really shouldn't waste time looking at these because I really can't buy anything. <laughs> Considering uh, I have one gold coin left. Well, I could do that and get an un uh, unidentified vault chest plate. That's kind of cool. And considering we haven't gotten any living whatsoever just yet. And that I need a lot of living for 
the thing that we're trying to get. I will go ahead and get that. Ooh, but look what I just found. Five minutes though. Five minutes. Okay, I need to clear all this out first. And it's not even a guarantee. Please go away. Please go away. I can't have you here. <laughs> it's not even guaranteed that it's going to be an architect. Imp oh, I can't get to it. I can't do it. I'm gonna die with the with the negatives that I have. Man. All right. Well, I am heading back now. So if I'm finding one on the way, I will definitely try and take it and hope that I can do it if it's like a normal one and not an impossible one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think we're getting the dungeon in this one, unfortunately, or the the archive thing. Um, guys, this is a little bit more critical than I thought. I don't think we're in trouble. But we're a little bit further from home than I expected us to be. I think that... Okay, that is my portal. I think I can make it without eating any kiwis. But this is close. This is the closest I've had I've been without eating kiwis, I think. <laughs> Alright, 34,000 XP. Hopefully that's going to take us to at least maybe level 37, I hope. I'm also expecting to potentially be getting a bunch of burgers. But 202 mobs are alive, 133 chests looted. <laughs> Okay, almost level 37, actually. That is actually not too bad. I will accept this. I will very much accept this, actually. Nice. Also, we got a Vault Catalyst. I don't think I can actually go ahead and infuse this. Nope, I already have some in there ready for infusion. Ah, the crate has uh, texture has not been updated just yet. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, okay, what did we get here? Not too bad. That's kind of just a miscellaneous stuff. In here, though... 71 Larima gems. We did get about box. 32 vault diamonds. A little bit extra knowledge shards. Uh, knowledge uh, dust there. We just need we just need a little bit more, actually. We could get that from some of the other stuff. Some jewels in here. Pretty good. Oh, that's very good, actually. Except for picking. It's very annoying that it has picking. But I could try and cut it. Just because. I might do that. Oh, that's even better. I could try and cut it, and there is a chance that when I cut it, it's going to take off the axe, and then I can easily add it to this, which, I mean, trap disarm is not bad whatsoever. And that's the overflow. Nice. A plat vault platinum? Nah, 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 nah. Yep, there we go. Ooh, 18 relic booster packs. Okay, let's see if we get something. We got one. Another one. Two. Oh, okay. Overflow. Let's see. We got the Twitch emote three and another piece for the dragon relic. I feel like I've seen that dragon relic before in here. Uh, no, that's not bad. And the Twitch relic is here. Okay, we're getting close. I do believe relics are being removed. So we'll see how far we actually get with that until, uh, until those are removed. But until then... I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain one bit. Now, we did get quite a few rare plus stuff here. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see. There we go. <laughs> let's see what we get here. So, yeah, that, that's definitely not as good as the one we have. Uh, champion damage. Eh, still, I don't think it's as good as our sword here. Nor is this what tank damage. I feel like those are new. Those might be new. Um, let's see, the magnet, uh, definitely not as good. The boots, uh, nope, <laughs> that doesn't beat 10 health. This, uh, hmm, eh, not really. It does have better implicit slots, but this one gives me mana, so I think I'm just going to spell all of it. I'm not really interested in any of it as such. Okay, before I go ahead and try stuff with these jewels, let's open this. And <laughs> let's open this and see what we get. I forgot I had magnet on. Let's see. Uh, coins, not bad. Some eternal souls, pretty good. Unidentified vault shield, boots, and a lemon. Leggings, a shoveling jewel, picking, axing. Eh, not the best, but also not the worst. You know, not not too bad. Not too not too bad. It's okay. 
Uh, doesn't beat my current shield. Again, not good enough and also not good enough either. All right, let's go ahead and try something here. So in theory, because I have jeweler, I should be able to cut this once. And I can't cut anything off of it. Um, right, cannot cut size lower to, than 10. Right, I don't want axing or picking. Is there another? I don't think there is another way of modifying a jewel. From my understanding. To be able to remove something unless you actually cut it. Ugh. Okay, well, they're still good for other tools. In the meantime, though. Yeah, something like these two. I want anything with mining speed that doesn't have picking. That would be nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, 15 size. I don't want to max it though. So I'll take the biggest of these. Go ahead and cut it once. 16 size. This might be a bad idea, but I don't think it is. Boom. Even more mining speed. I'm, th I think. And I'm pretty happy with that actually. And the skill point, I think I am going to go ahead and... Oh, it's fully learned. Oh. Uh, well, I think I'm going to upgrade this because I do use the, the javelin a lot. Maybe I should upgrade this next time, though. Yeah, maybe. I'm a javelin user, though. Well, still not quite enough to be able to unlock create, which is what I want to do today. So, since we can't really do that, also the axe, by the way, that can kind of go because I <laughs> don't need that. But yeah, since we're not going to unlock that right now, getting this, oh boy. That is not, now I kind of want botany parts because <laughs> that would mean that I don't have to worry about crops as well. We're, we're slowly getting ourselves up there in the automation process, okay? Yeah, that is uh, not enough. However, I should be able to go ahead and take a look at, oh yeah, the one's pearl. <laughs> that is true. Uh, don't know how I get it though. We'll take a look at that afterwards. I should be able to go ahead in here. I don't think I have anything in Twerker at all. But I should be able to get this actually. And then get something like Gardner, which affects cactus and sugarcane and nether wart. Right, so I'm gonna need a Orb of Regret. Which I'm pretty sure will go ahead and give me a regret point, which means I can now go ahead and take something away. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and, because it's rare that I'm actually on full health, so I'm going to unlearn that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get farmer and then specialize in this, because then if I go ahead and do that, and maybe just over here. Yep. <laughs> uh, do that. Place a cactus. And do this. Aha! Okay. So I can hold it down. It does use... Okay, this is cool. This is very cool, actually. I'm just holding down the button. As you can see, it is using my mana. But it is also growing the cactus. And now, I'm just gonna leave that there, actually. We can go ahead and give it 21 cactus. That is pretty cool. Not bad. And just like that, we have another crystal. Love it. Now, I do know that the cake vaults are remade, but I kind of want to run another seal of the braciers. And then in the next episode, we'll go ahead and run a cake vault. I kind of changed my mind there, which I think that that is going to be what we go ahead and do. So let me craft this up real quick. There we go. Seal of the scout. Go ahead and get all our things except for those, of course. When prioritize this in the right <laughs> orientation. Go ahead and can I like... Oh, I can add stuff. Oh, that's cool. I can actually add stuff from inside the inventory. Just by right clicking it. Oh, that's awesome. I love that feature. That's so cool. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, definitely shouldn't forget this. Should I... Should I, like, bring... 
some gold. I, f I feel like I should bring some gold with me. I'm going to bring some gold with me just in case I find something that is like really good. I should be able to go in here as well, actually, and tell how much it would cost to revive me if I died. Right now, it's just 35 gold. I assume this price would go up if I actually had loot in these things. So as long as I have like two stacks of gold up here, I think it'll be fine in case I die. You, you know, just in case. You can't see me, but it's fine. Ooh, okay, four braces this time. And hopefully... Also, this is a very nice theme, by the way. And hopefully, I'll actually get a dungeon with an archive in it this time around. <laughs> that would be really nice. Oh, polar bears. Oh, that's interesting. I don't want to fight polar bears. I, I like polar bears. Ooh, okay, so I'm now mining a bunch of other stuff, but because I have the overflow chest... Oh, what are you? Oh, you're creepy. You have like an echo sound to you. I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, because this is now faster at mining, it does break a bunch of other stuff, but I don't really care, I think. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think, I think it's fine. Oh, lag spike. Ooh. I think that's the first time I've experienced that. Yikes. Oh yeah, I didn't get the trap disarm on this. Maybe I can get get a really good trap disarm gem. Um, X 20% extra buff health. I think I'll take it, but I do need to be careful because I feel like these guys are doing quite the damage on me this time around. I'm sorry, but these guys are just really creepy with their sounds. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. It's creeping me out. I don't like it. I mean, I like it. It's cool, but also still, I don't like it. It's creepy. Ooh, champion. Champion. I'm very happy that that first guy wasn't the champion because he was very fast. Oh, and there's a bow guy. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm forgetting my other builds in here with poison. But you are the game and you. Okay, good. Now that I did that, I better get this because I fought for it. Ooh, ah, it's not a dungeon. <laughs> I'll take it though. I will still take it. All right, you're slow. I'm happy with that. That's fine. Uh, vault experience and slowness. You know what? That couldn't be better because we need vault experience and that's trapped. Why? All right, let's take a look at the. Oh, you can spawn in here. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, unidentified focus, sour orange. I feel like that's pretty good actually i only have one of those um do i buy a yeah i do buy that apparently because i just did actually was that like 40 gold that might not have been worth it because <laughs> i don't get okay you know what the they're good later game all right it's fine it's investment and i will now that i have one more of these i will actually you know what watch i'm gonna go hit there we go boom kiwis and we put half of our lime in there, and we're good. Everything be good. Extra soul shards and extra mob health. I'll take it. I will take it. Potentially a bad idea, but I'm I'm, I'm risking it. I'm risking it. Healing efficiency is less plus one strength. Uh, sure. I'll take it because now that's done. Now I can focus on just looking for a dungeon. Okay, you. I'm not cool. You're not okay. Neither of you. Go away, please. Please go away. Thank you. Oh, a champion ice bear. I didn't expect that. Ow. Ooh, you do, do some damage, don't you? Yikes. Please go away. Phew. Aww. Dude, that, that, it really teases me with these. It really, really does. Um, I don't know if there's something. Oh. Oh, I. I couldn't. I could not do it. You may say that it's a waste, but I, I just couldn't not take that. Okay? You need to understand that it was impossible for me to say no to that. Like physically. It it I I try saying no, but it 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 just it just happened. You know? It's just yeah. That's how it is sometimes. Also, I feel like I really want to take these because just in case just in case we do get, like, the Echo Ore, that would be really sad to miss out on that. Guess maybe for ores, I really should make a hammer that just has, like, a ton of copiously. And then, like, a big hammer range and speed. That would probably be a good idea. I'm hoping that these guys are giving me a lot of XP. 
because that would be really nice. Also, not dodge a door. <laughs> but this thing, uh, come on, let's see if there's anything. Nope. Ooh, a village room. Uh, I don't think I can actually find a dungeon in here, but if it's a living chest dungeon, I might go ahead and loot it, but if it's not, I'm immediately out. I also am not liking the sound of this. It is a living chest. Um, oh no. You know what? No. Uh, hmm. I do need the knowledge, so I might loot some of it. Yeah, you know what? Even though this is great, I'm not gonna risk it because I'm gonna get lost. Like I haven't gotten now. That's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue the search for a dungeon instead. Another one of those. I'm not gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go to the next room because I think the doors are in one system in like they share the space and maybe the chance of spawning. So if I see a treasure room door, I'm going to assume that a dungeon door hasn't spawned. I could be completely wrong in doing that. Do let me know if you know more down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do for now anyway. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Dungeon? Normal? <sighs> Are you kidding me? It is impossible. And yeah, I'm not even going to attempt that. <laughs> Man, the ones that we've found has been so bad. Either they have been... We found two in the last episode, if I'm not mistaken. And they were impossible. Why? <laughs> I thought we found a normal one, but then it didn't have the, uh, the archive. Okay, that's my portal. I have a little bit of time to work with. Okay. I have a little bit of time. I'm just going to search. If it does have one, I might use that orange. I doubt it has one. But I will have a quick peek. Just a quick one. I'm not going to drop down anything. Not even for the living chest. But just to see. No. Doesn't look like it. I know I didn't look the entire room, but I don't have enough health anyway or time. So we're just going to have to head back, unfortunately. We didn't get to archive this one, but hopefully we got a lot of XP. Uh, even though I ran past a bunch of stuff, but we'll see. Okay, 33,000 XP, 229 mobs unlived and only 81 chests looted because I was uh, obsessed with finding a dungeon. Still is, still am. Um, but we're now level 38, which is pretty cool, and I can sleep. Bye-bye. Uh, two on bad skill points. I might as well use those right away. Upgrade this to ethereal. Um, and then enhances projectile speed. Ooh. I think I'm... Hmm. I kind of want to upgrade dash or something. Maybe heal. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade heal. The vaults are starting to get a little bit tougher, so I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, this is the stuff that we got from here. Just gonna go ahead and empty that right away. Nice, so three inscription pieces. Actually, not too bad. And we have 20 of these mystery eggs, which are going to come handy very, very soon. I had a vault crystal? Huh. That's only level 34 now, so I don't really want to run that now. <laughs> I must have forgotten I made that. Um, huh. Oh, well then. We also have eight inscription pieces now, which I don't quite remember. I haven't actually used that seal yet, but I think I was saving up for the mushroom inscription, which for that I need 32 inscription pieces. Right, okay, yeah, that was what I was doing. <laughs> a good amount of ores, 56 knowledge essence, and also six of the relic booster packs. Also, do we, we have enough, we have enough. Mission accomplished, and we got something else as well. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What did we get in here? I trapped his arm. <laughs> and two pieces of armor. Right, I'm gonna add that in there, and not put the jewel in there, because it doesn't belong there. But let's put this away. Let's see what relic we get. Please don't let it be... Elemental? Elemental is... Good, I think? Oh yeah! Not bad! All right, let's see what we get from this. Some jewels, some... Ooh. Another relic. Uh, okay. 
armor pieces. They are going to go in here so we can identify it all at once. Uh, oh, seven mining speed. Definitely got to save that. And if I could get this trap disarm chance down, just so it could fit. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately not, but that's that's really good. I need to make like a chest for real, really cool, like um, jewels. Also, I'm just going to add this in here because I will be needing it eventually. Uh, but yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. Let's see what this is, though. Uh, I think that's a Dradley. Yeah, yeah, we already have that one. That's a duplicate, unfortunately. Let's identify this, though. And let's see what we get. Uh, this is common. Not good enough to replace. Shield, not good enough to replace. Uh, boots, not good enough to replace. <laughs> <laughs> Other boots? Nope. Uh, this? Nope. Now this is Omega. Hmm. I can reroll the prefixes. We might have something there. We might have something there. Hold on. Let's make sure I don't... <laughs> the one thing that I bought. Imagine if I actually went ahead and uh, ruined it. Okay. Um, yeah, reroll the prefixes. Definitely want health, because mine currently has, what was it? Yeah, six health, so mine needs at least that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is going to take some work. Ooh. Oh, this might be better than what I have. That's extra health. That's extra armor. Increase attack damage. Not as much attack damage. Healing efficiency, mana regen. I really like those. I can go ahead and add an extra suffix. Extra item rarity. I think that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a replacement. And look at that. It's the Paladin model? Oh, I like that. Um, yeah, I, I guess. Goodbye. <laughs> Chest plate. <laughs> Not bad, though. Oh, look at the hand texture. I love that. That's so cool. Right, we definitely got an upgrade there. We're not level th uh, 40 yet, though. How many burgers would we be able to, in theory make especially if i add the lattice that i have as well 41 crispy deluxe cheeseburgers how much does one refill i think we can get to level 40 with this ladies and gentlemen um yeah i think we can get to level 40 with that first of all though let us go ahead and quickly take these go ahead and get this done Ooh, look at that that's so cool there we go that is the sixth knowledge star which we're going to use and with that I think we're going to unlock create because we need to run more vaults anyway in order to actually hold on in order to go ahead and be able to make the ice border because we need the echo shards and we don't need slime for this one that's good <laughs> but yeah we need to run more vaults in order to get the well no we don't actually actually maybe we don't get create because with these burgers i'll be able to get the echoes that we need and we can set up a survival spawner fairly quickly. Yeah, how much carbon do we have? We have plenty. Um, I might have had a change of heart here, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of want mob spawners. <laughs> um, and then maybe we take some other stuff. Maybe like potions. More potions are upgraded vials and they can hold one modifier. That would be kind of cool. That's two research points. Um... Maybe we get some power or something? Maybe, obviously not that one, but maybe iron generators? We have some options, actually, that I didn't realize we di we had, basically. I can get create, but we don't really get much of it out of it now. Whereas with the spawner, we actually get a lot from it, including solving the, um, the, the problem with slime. If, that is, we can actually go ahead and get a slime egg from these, because we do need to turn them into... Mystery hostile eggs. I think we gotta go for that. I think I think that's I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. We're doing it. Mouse bonus. Boom. I know I said we wanted to get create, but I also kinda want to get potions now. <laughs> um I don't know where to actually do the upgrade. Maybe this is it. I think I'm gonna take I don't know. I'm going to leave the three unspent dollars points for now. Let me know what you think I should use it for. Should I unlock I'm, that button? Should I unlock potions? Should I get something else like Torchmaster maybe? Um, don't think I can really get anything in here. 
Uh, should I get iron generators, even though we don't have anything that really requires uh, power? Should I just save them and get something else? So let me know what you think down below in the comments. There's also mining gadgets or my, uh, building gadgets. Yeah, let me know down below in the comments. But for now, let's go ahead and eat these cheeseburgers. And we should, yeah, we'll definitely reach level 40 with this. That's one. Halfway there. And this is a big one. Level 40, and we even get an expertise point. We get an expertise point. Um, Two rerolls. Kind of want that. Cost reduction time sold in shopping pencils. That's kind of good. Unbreaking. Adds chance of not losing durability on gear. Ooh. There's a lot here, actually. I'm going to think about these, because... <laughs> oh, that would be nice as well. There's a lot that would be nice to have. Right, I'm gonna wait with that. Uh, skill points. The radius of Nova is going to be upgraded, so I'm gonna actually bump that up twice. Just because I feel like I would be able to use it more. So now with that done, uh, let's go ahead and get this. We also get a sour orange, 12 bamboo. <laughs> uh, of course you do. Uh, there we go. That's the four at the bamboo, definitely. Actually, the bamboo, I feel, definitely needs a, a special home. Um, do we have... We have, like, a... Hmm... A, a, I need a special chest. Just... Because... It is what it is. I'm gonna add a special chest. Uh, hey, cow. Please don't eat my, my stuff. Hmm. Don't know where to put it. Down here. Just for the 12 bamboo. <laughs> and then we're going to add these into here, but we will be using them in the next episode because, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be it for this one. But in the next episode, we are setting up Ice Bonus. I am so, so, so excited. We are going to be crafting parks, an Echo Park. We're going to be setting up this. Then we need to set some sort of construction thing for the spawner to actually work at. And then a way of changing the mob eggs. Hopefully we get some... Uh, some slime, or at least one slime egg out of this. I'm, yeah, I'm really excited because this is going to make things so much easier. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're brand new to the, to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, be sure to enable those notifications. But until next time, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye. Nom nom. <laughs>